This is the December 22nd Trump transition press update. I just got the line with the Trump transition team. This is what I learned. We are 29 days away from the inauguration. Uh, the president like will meet today with Elsa Murano. Uh, she is the former president of Texas AM and she is a candidate for Donald Trump's Department of Agriculture. The last outstanding positions for, the, for appointments are the Department of Agriculture, uh, Secretary of Veteran Affairs, and the Director of National Intelligence. Uh, the team addressed Donald Trump's tweets over the last uh, 24 hours. Um, last night, Donald Trump tweeted, I met some really great Air Force generals and Navy admirals today, talking about airplane uh, capability and pricing. Very impressive people. Uh, this meeting was in regard to uh, the meeting between uh, Donald Trump and uh, members and the CEO of Lockheed Martin and Boeing, and some uh, generals again and pilots uh, in relation to Air Force One. Uh, the, the short and skinny of this meeting is, Donald Trump wants the US to get back on track to producing the best planes, subs, and ships the world has ever seen. Now, um, in addition to that tweet, there was one this morning. Uh, Donald Trump tweeted, the resolution being considered at the United Nations Security Council regarding Israel should be vetoed. Now, they put out a press statement today which continued, as the United States has long maintained, peace between the Israelis and the Palestinians will only come through direct negotiations between the parties and not through the imposition of terms by the United Nations. This puts Israel in a very poor negotiating position and, and is extremely unfair to all Israelis. Now, Trump uh, is essentially echoing uh, Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's position on this. Um, and this is in regard to the uh, recognizing Palestine as a state. This was actually brought forward by Egypt to the United Nations Security Council. Uh, previously, whenever this has been brought up, it has been vetoed by the US, but uh, in, in lieu of, uh, of uh, former President Carter's uh, statements last month, and also Barack Obama's statements uh, this month regarding potentially uh, rocking the boat, um, Samantha Powers, uh, the UN ambassador, the US UN ambassador, uh, she, well, we're not sure how she will vote today at 3 p.m. Uh, Kellyanne Conway has been announced as Donald Trump's counselor. Uh, she will serve essentially as uh, the counselor to the president and um, will be a, a senior member again on his advisory board. Uh, she was previously a member of, a senior member of the transition team and uh, obviously the campaign manager for the Donald Trump campaign uh, victory. Um, her position, uh, it will be a close advisory role. Uh, some people have said this is going to throw a wrench into the hierarchy of the organization, but um, Donald Trump on this appointment said today, Kelly Conway has been a trusted advisor and, tr and strategist who played a crucial role in my victory. She is a tireless and tenacious advocate of my agenda and has amazing insights on how to effectively communicate our message. I am pleased that she will be part of my senior team in the West Wing. Now, Kellyanne Conway responded today also to the appointment announcement saying, I want to thank the president-elect for this amazing opportunity. Uh, a, pre a Trump presidency will bring real change to Washington and to Americans across this nation. I am humbled and honored to play a role in helping transform the movement he has led into a real agenda of action and results. Now, Kellyanne Conway was on the circuit this morning on the, uh, different talk shows, uh, Fox, ABC, and NBC. Um, what she basically said was she, will, she feels that the Trump administration is going to be a pro-family administration. Uh, she feels that she's still going to be able to, uh, you know, fulfill her duties as a mother to her children. And also, uh, she feels that, again, this, this uh, administration is going to be a change in America. She's very excited about this appointment. Um, in addition to Kelly and Conway, Carl Icahn was named as a special advisor to the president uh, on issues relating to regulatory reform. Now, Carl Icahn is, a, uh, is referred to as an activist investor. He's a billionaire. Um, he uh, actually was, uh, was there at Trump, uh, at the Midtown Hilton, uh, the Trump headquarters event on November 8th that I attended. Um, I didn't actually get to see him in the crowd, uh, but after leaving the event, I read an article how Icahn, seeing that Pennsylvania was essentially a win for Trump, left around midnight to get home so he could put in trades. Now, ICON is, is being considered uh, by some to be the deregulator in chief. Uh, it's going to be a non paid role, mind you. Um, he's no fan of the Dodd Frank Act, and uh, he is looking to pursue an America first economic agenda. Now, uh, the president elect uh, said of the appointment of Carl today Carl was with me from the beginning, and with, his being, uh, um, and with his being one of the world's greatest businessmen, that was something I truly appreciated. He is not only a brilliant negotiator, but also someone who is innately able to predict the future, especially having to do with finances and economies. 
His help on the, uh, the strangling regulations that our country is faced with will be invaluable. Now, Mr. Icahn responded uh, to the appointment, saying, I am proud to serve President-elect Trump as a special advisor on regulatory reform. Under President Obama, America's business owners have been crippled by over $1 trillion in new regulations and over 750 billion hours dealing with paperwork. It's time to break free of excessive revelation and let our entrepreneurs do what they do best, create jobs and support communities. President-elect Trump is serious about helping American families and regulatory reform will be a critical component of making America work again. Now, uh, also, we, we alluded to this yesterday, but we got a formal announcement on this today. Dr. Peter Navarro, uh, a former True News guest, uh, is going to head Donald Trump's new National Trade Council. He's going to serve as the assistant to the president and director of trade and industrial policy. Now, uh, on this appointment, uh, President-elect Trump said today, I read one of Peter's books on America's trade problems years ago. I was impressed by the clarity of his arguments and thoroughness of his research. He has uh, uh, precedently documented the harms inflicted by globalism on American workers and laid out a path forward to restore our middle class. He will fulfill an essential role in my administration as a trade advisor. Now, he's going to work hand in hand with uh, Wilbur Ross, Donald Trump's Commerce Secretary, who also had a statement on uh, Mr. Uh, Peter D Navarro today. Uh, Peter Navarro is the best person President-elect Donald Trump could have chosen to head his National Trade Council. We were a great team during the campaign and will be a great team during the administration. Uh, Peter Navarro uh, said of this appointment today, I am deeply honored for the opportunity to serve the President-elect and, and this nation and to advise on policies to rebalance our trade rebuild our industrial base, and restore America's comprehensive national power by making America great again. Now, the Trump spokesman also addressed uh, during the call some rumors that have been going around about uh, General Flynn. Now, uh, he officially addressed and denied uh, the New York Times reports Monday that Trump's national security advisor, uh, retired General Michael Flynn, met with Austrian Freedom Party leader Heinz Christian Strach. Um, this rumor again was floated by the New York Times, and uh, what I thought would be very interesting was uh, Jason Miller, the uh, spokesman for the Trump transition team, specifically titled this as fake news. Uh, during the Q&A portion of the call, uh, Reuters asked about the rumors uh, CNN floated about Trump implementing a 5% tax on imports uh, through an executive order. Uh, Trump spokesman Jason Miller responded by saying the CNN story uh, got too far out over its keys. Uh, the incoming administration is discussing numerous strategies, but it is too early to go into speculation of tariffs and border adjustability. Uh, Time Magazine asked about Trump's comments on the UN vote today. Trump spokesman Jason Miller referred to their statement and added that they did not give the White that they did give the White House a, a heads up actually before publishing uh, their statement. Uh, and again, they're they're going to be watching intently uh, to the result of this vote. Um, CQ Roll Call actually asked today about uh, Dr. Navarro and uh, Jason Miller went a very nice opine about uh, his time working with. Uh, Dr. Navarro on the campaign. Uh, Jason Miller said that he, uh, he was honored uh, to work with Dr. Navarro on the campaign and, and how the fact that uh, Dr. Navarro lives in California but was with the campaign full time throughout this turbulent season. Uh, and again, a, a huge toll in his family and, and, and in him himself, he sacrificed his time to give his expertise to the campaign. Um, CQ also asked about how the role may play into uh, the, the relationship between the trade rep and uh, the Secretary of Commerce, Wilbur Ross. Um, the team simply said they will, they will publish a formal chart of how the hierarchy will work, uh, but the trade rep would be, be the middleman between the two. Um, the Hill asked uh, about uh, Mr. Icahn's role and if there may be any conflict of interest. Now, uh, Trump spokesman Jason Miller said not to worry about his proximity to market-changing uh, decisions. Now, obviously, uh, in his advisory role, he's not taking a uh, a salary, uh, Mr. Icahn may still be involved in investments and, uh, and his trading uh, during the day and again advisory roles to his companies. But again, there will be oversights and transparency to keep this from going sour. Uh, Market Watch asked about the possible tariffs again. Uh, Jason Miller, uh, again this time, you know, this is just something interesting I've noticed during the calls. When something is brought up and kind of beat to death, uh, proverbially speaking, um, they will start to dismissingly just say, you know, no, we already addressed this. But he said he had no qualified answer at this time on the subject of the tariffs. Um, do we have any questions uh, from today? Any any uh, concerns, comments, anything like that? Okay, the uh, on the I guess on the on the entertainment side, uh, there are reports that uh, 
Ivanka Trump was harassed on a uh, blue jet flight. Um, a, a gay couple again, it seems, uh, uh, a man harassed her on the flight, was kicked off, and he actually had tweeted an hour before uh, about uh, wanting to harass Ivanka, her husband, and their children on the, uh, on the flight. Uh, in addition to this, Eric Trump has come out uh, today and said that they will be uh, withdrawing themselves from any charity work just to, again, uh, alleviate any chance there may be a conflict of interest, other things like that. Something we addressed yesterday uh, regarding the open call charity that was going to be held, an event held on January 21st. Um, I think other than that, the only other thing I have is that the, uh, there is a confirmation that Donald Trump met with uh, the Koch brothers, uh, specifically David Koch, in the Mar-a-Lago in West Palm Beach last night, had dinner. Again, uh, this, like the Carlos Slim meeting from the New York Times uh, owner, um, it, it probably can be again seen as them coming to him versus Trump acquiescing to their uh, agendas. All right, uh, again, thank you for tuning in. Um, the next Trump transition update will be tomorrow at 1130 Eastern. Uh, it's going to be a little bit short because the, the Trump transition team is not actually going to be working slash putting out updates uh, tomorrow, but we will be putting out an update based on what we're seeing. Um, and again, please share this with your friends. Uh, and your and your family and as well as tonight's edition of true news it's it's definitely one you sh you definitely shouldn't miss it's gonna be really good <laughs> they're all really good um, again you can find this and more at truenews.com that is t-r-u-n-e-w-s.com thank you merry christmas and god bless